Hey everybody, this is Matt Dickman, and this is another edition of Whiteboard Session. Today I'm taking a look at the concept of RSS, and basically what I want to do is go over how it works, why it's important, um, and you know, this it's actually uh, surprisingly simple. <laughs> and the acronym itself stands for Really Simple Syndication, just to tell you how simple it is. Uh, so let's, let's take a look at a couple examples here, just to put this in perspective. Let's look at, um, take for example, uh, newspaper industry as of, you know, five, ten years ago. So let's say, you know, back in the day, if you're a person and you wanted the New York Times, you'd basically have to go to Borders or Barnes & Noble. And what you would do is you would walk in and you would say, okay, I'm going to get a copy of this. I'm going to get a copy of the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, and USA Today, okay? So you would have to go out, you know, you could have done this on a street corner, you know, with a, a newsboy back in the day. Uh, at a certain point in time, though, what the newspapers decided was a better way to do this was they're actually going to let you subscribe to the paper. So what, this, what would happen is, you know, straight from the factory, they would send you the newspaper. So you didn't have to go out and get it. This is the same concept, the subscription concept, uh, is what's driving RSS. So when you see, when you go out to a website and it says, you know, subscribe to our RSS feed, this is the type of subscription we're talking about. So let's look at, you know, what <clears throat> web surfing is for a lot of people, um, and definitely was five, ten years ago. You know, let's say you want to go out to the New York Times site. You know, you're going to get the top headlines, the Wall Street Journal, and the USA Today. So what you have to do basically is, okay, I'm going to go to the New York Times in the morning, I'm going to check it out, see what the top headlines are, I'm going to go to the Wall Street Journal online, check out the top headlines, and I'm going to go to USA Today. Now, throughout the day, as news changes and gets updated, uh, there's no real way for you to get that information back. So what you have to do is, okay, at noon, at lunchtime, I'm going to go back to New York Times, back to Wall Street Journal, back to USA Today. I'm going to have to tell, you know, I'm going to have to basically decipher whether or not something has changed and um, go from there. So what's happening now is if you go to these sites, you'll see that the arrows are reversed. So clicking subscribe on the New York Times is actually bringing you information as it's updated. Same with the Wall Street Journal, same with USA Today. This is the same way that blogs work and RSS on blog feeds. You know, as updated as a post is made, it updates a file. So what that is basically doing, you know, for each of these files, and this is the easiest way that I like to think about it. Let's say this is an RSS file, okay? What it's got in it are entries, stories, blog posts, uh, videos, audio clips. So each one of these entries, you know, most RSS feeds are limited. So let's say we're going to limit this to six entries, and that's it. It could be 20, it could be 50, it depends on the site, and it's kind of irrelevant at this point. So what happens is this is all chronological. So this is the newest, and this is the oldest. And so what happens uh, is as the New York Times updates their site with a new story, or I update my blog with a new post, or a podcaster loads a new episode, that new episode gets put in this top spot. So then the top spot goes to the second, the second goes to the third, the third goes to the fourth, the fourth goes to the fifth, and finally this last item gets bumped out of the feed. And what happens is, uh, and what, what a lot of people are talking about feed readers, these feed readers take multiple files that are like this, and they put them all in, in chronological order. So if I have a feed reader, what it's going to do is it's going to take, you know, here's the New York Times site, Here's the Wall Street Journal feed. Here's the USA Today. What it's going to do is it's going to create a new set of entries. So let's say uh, at the beginning of the day the New York Times updates their site. It's going to get put in my number one position here. Okay? It's going to know when this feed changes. So let's say they add another story. It's going to take story number one and it's going to bump it down to number two and keep the top story here. Well, let's say the Wall Street Journal updates an article. That's going to get fed to number one. So the New York Times, both of these articles get bumped down so that they're two and three. And it keeps going and going and going. And that's why these readers, they're really real-time uh, ways to consume information like this. And 
you know, inside my feed reader, I've got uh, probably 300 plus feeds um, that I'm looking at day to day. Um, inside that, I use Google Reader. Uh, it's pretty quick to go through different feed, you know, all of the feeds to see what's new. And basically, you know, everything that's new is going to be at the top. So if you're really concerned about what's new, you know, it's easy not to get overwhelmed because basically you just mark them all as red. There's no harm, no foul in doing that. Yes, you're gonna miss some information, but it's a, if it's important, it's gonna come back to you in another way. So RSS, you know, what you need to look for, you know, look for the RSS symbol, which looks, you know, basically somewhat like that, usually in orange. Um, you know, like I said, th these RSS feeds can contain audio clips. So, you know, if it's an audio clip, what you're gonna get is iTunes, that's a very crude iTunes logo, okay? And each one of these is gonna be tagged with an MP3 file, okay? So the MP3 file gets pulled into iTunes. It's the same format, the same technology, except there's just an audio file attached to it. And that is what a podcast is. So a podcast is an RSS feed with an audio or a video file attached to it. Um, and um, so that, that's the way that this type of information is being distributed. It is really simple. As you can see, it's just building blocks that are pushed down and down and down. The feed readers put those blocks in order across all of the subscriptions that you have. And si signing up is as easy as clicking the RSS button. So that's it for this time. I hope I explained RSS uh, in a nutshell. If you have any specific questions, definitely drop me an email, mattdickman at gmail.com, or you can leave a comment on this post. That's it, and I will talk to you next time.